Um, hi, I'm Martin Plowman, international racing driver. So I'm here at the Autosport International Show. It's, it's one of the biggest motorsport trade shows in the world. And I've just got off the main stage here to talk about the upcoming season. So uh, it was probably the hardest interview that I've done in the last five years. Uh, about five minutes before I go on stage, just had a feeling that I wasn't prepared or I didn't know how the interview was going to go. The way my brain works, it's like all of a sudden I've got a thousand different scenarios and what if they ask this, what if they ask that, what if they do this, and then what if I can't answer it? It's like free falling with no parachute and you want to just pull for the rip card. But then it's really funny, you, you walk down the stairs, they hand you the microphone, and all of a sudden a light switch just comes on. You, you just you know, take a big deep breath, put your shoulders back, smile, do this little power pose, which apparently is, there's some scientific reason that, that helps you walk on stage and then no drama, just, uh, just happy and relaxed. People think that anxiety is just mental and oh, we get over it, but the, the physical symptoms are very, very real. I just wanted to be sick. I went to the toilet like four or five times. Uh, just really, I could, would have just faked anything, like jump off the stage, break a leg, get an ambulance out of here, just look for any irrational reason to get out of the interview. So, uh, of course, I always know it's going to be fine. And I know when I get on stage and they ask a question, it's just going to come off naturally. But the whole anticipation, I just constantly I like, overthink things and my, my brain is just like, ah. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it turned out okay. Basically, I used a lot of different coping strategies that helped me to, to get through situations like that. Power pose is a, is a very good one. Um, making sure that you're standing upright, sitting up straight, shoulders back, and even forcing a smile. It, it sort of tricks your brain into thinking that actually you're not going to die, you know, things are okay. Um, the other thing as well is that I always like fear silence. I always feel like I have to fill a silence, which then makes things spiral out of control. So when you struggle with things to say or you're not, you're not sure what you're going to say next or what they're going to ask you next, just take a second to breathe and just breathe into that silence. You know, silence is good. You know, in your brain, you think that you're silent for a really long time, but in reality, it's two or three seconds, which is a normal pause. So for me, it's just going back to the basics and, and, and just breathe. So hopefully um, these tips will help. You know, they've helped me today. I got through a really tough situation. Right before I went on stage, I was looking for the, the fire exit, but then I managed to get out there and, and give what, what most people said was a really good interview. So I can be, be proud of that and, uh, and know that I've got this under control.